Hello guys, welcome back to Mufasuket with AutoCAD 3D Modeling Practice Exercise number 15. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel here. It will be helpful for us to growing up. In this uh, tutorial, I will create a 3D air horn. You can see the image here, and you can get this uh, reference image from our site Mufasuket.com. Okay, we start now. Open your AutoCAD software, and first I will create a circle with a radius about 150 point okay and create a line from uh, this point to the bottom here move uh, the last object to the left about 50 point and we create a line again from uh, this point to the left here about 211 okay and okay again move uh, the last object to the bottom about 42 point and I will create line you can see for right click and select a uh, tangent here click uh, this uh, circle object and move uh, to this point and okay I will use a trim command to cut uh, this uh, circle object and select uh, this uh, two line object uh, delete use a join command to join uh, this uh, two object And we offset with uh, distance about two point. Select uh, this object and select uh, in here and okay. I will create a line from uh, here to the bottom here, and we create a line again from here to the bottom here. You can use a trim command, <coughs> enter twice, press shift button and select uh, this uh, object and click here to trim and then click uh, in here to trim uh, this uh, object okay we use a uh, join command to join uh, this all object use a line command to create line you can click uh, in here and move uh, to the top here tap uh, three points and okay and move uh, to the bottom here with uh, point about 15 and okay and okay again I will create line from here to the left here about 30 point and to the bottom here about 15 point okay you a join command to join uh, this uh, all object We create line again from uh, this point to the top here about 42 to the left here about 4 point and to the bottom in here and okay this uh, join command again to join this uh, object create line from uh, here to the top about 45 point and to the left here about 10 point I will use a mirror command to copy this line object from uh, this point to this point and use a RC command first uh, star point you can click here and tap uh, A to end point and click uh, here for the end point and for the radius it's about 150 point and ok I will create line from here to the left here and use a trim command to cut uh, this object select uh, this uh, two line and delete use a join command to combine this uh, all object and ok you can click here this uh, object is already joined ok <coughs> And next, I will use a revolve command to revolve uh, this uh, all object from uh, this point to here with uh, angle about 360 degree and OK. You can see the result here. I will select uh, this object, right click, and then isolate head objects, change to the right view here. And then I will create a circle from this point with a radius about 4 and we create a circle again from a center point with a radius about 3 and okay. Next I will create a circle from uh, this point with a radius about 15 and I will create a line from uh, this point to here 
and move for the last object to the bottom here about 5 point we create a line from uh, this point to the bottom about 20 and then to the left here about 7 point and ok use uh, join command to join uh, this uh, two line object use uh, offset uh, command with uh, distance about 2 and select uh, this object and select insert here ok we create a line from here to here and use uh, trim command to cut uh, this uh, line object I will uh, copy this uh, object and move uh, to the left here next use a mirror command to mirror uh, this uh, object from here to the bottom here and ok I will select uh, this uh, line object and delete use a trim command to cut uh, this uh, circle object and use a join command to join this uh, all object click here and this is already joined and this is already joined I will move uh, this uh, to object from uh, this point to here and move again this uh, circles object from uh, the center point to this center point next we move uh, this uh, to circle to the top here about 27 point and ok ok I will move uh, this uh, three object and select uh, this object move uh, from uh, the center point to this uh, center point here okay I will extrude this uh, to circle to the z axis here about 22 point and subtract this uh, circle with uh, this circle and ok we extrude again this uh, object to this uh, point <coughs> and then use uh, union command to combine this uh, all object uh, ok I will select uh, this object and delete then I will change into uh, set with edge here and use a uh, violet command with a uh, radius about 1 select uh, this uh, edge this uh, edge ok select uh, this uh, edge you can select uh, this edge one uh, by one ok and then enter <coughs> we violet again with radius about 1 and you can select uh, this edge ok select uh, this uh, edge one by one with uh, radius about 1 for uh, the violet <coughs> ok select in here and then you select uh, in here and then the last in here and ok Next, I will file it in here and here, OK, and we file it in here, OK. We file it with the radius about 2. You can select uh, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and OK. Next, uh, right click, isolate, and an object isolation. OK, you can see we file it again here with uh, radius about 1 and select uh, this edge and then this edge and ok ok you can see the result here I will change into a uh, top view and I will uh, copy this uh, object to the bottom here and then I will uh, move uh, this object to the right here about 50 point and ok next I will uh, extrude this face you can select a control button and select uh, this face ok and extrude to this uh, point ok 
use a union command to combine this uh, two object and ok <coughs> next I will change to the top view again and change to the to the wireframe I will create a plan shift from uh, this point to this uh, point <coughs> and change to the front view I will move uh, this uh, object from here to here okay and then uh, rotate this uh, object from uh, this point to here we can uh, zoom in in here okay change to the top view and then I will move uh, this object to here okay and then I will uh, rotate this uh, object from uh, this point to here next I will change to the front view again and use a rotate command to rotate uh, this uh, object from uh, this point to here and then we move uh, this object <coughs> to the top here okay I can use the orbit command to rotate uh, the object next we will apply uh, material to the object you can change into a realistic view here and then use uh, airmat command to open a material browser I will use uh, metal uh, material here and select for the steel material I will use uh, steel material can scroll down uh, here and I will use uh, this uh, material you can click here and drag uh, to the object here click here and drag uh, to the object and I will use uh, plastic materials with uh, here red colors you can click uh, to here and drag uh, to here again <coughs> next I will click here twice and change the colors of material to this point and ok I will use a tin and change the color to this color and ok and you can use a plastic solid here ok close and I will click this material twice and select for color 14 color here I will select this colors can see the result here okay <coughs> and uh, police here close we will active uh, full shadow and render for the uh, high render active uh, environment here and change background into solid and white color here okay okay close and close uh, material browser I will change uh, face trees here with uh, 10 points to make uh, the object more smooth you can see and then I will uh, zoom out rotate uh, the drawing to get uh, the best view for uh, rendering okay I think it's enough and then we try to render you can click here waiting for uh, rendering until finish it's about 10 level you also can increase the resolution of the image to 300 dpi to make uh, the final render more smooth okay until finish for the rendering and we finish uh, the rendering process Okay, I think it's enough today for uh, AutoCAD 3D modeling practice exercise number 15. If you have any question, you can comment below this video. And see you next time in AutoCAD 3D modeling practice exercise number 16.